Karen Whitsitt is a Democratic lawmaker in the state of Michigan. She believes she was suffering from coronavirus and steadily getting worse until she received hydroxychloroquine from her physician. Then she recovered. Whitsitt came on this show to explain what happened, and as she explained it, she gave some credit to a president she didn't vote for. Dr. Arsawala did save my life, and I do credit you know, the president to doing so um, and putting this out there because it wasn't accessible to me if it was for that fact. Yes. Um, I, had, I had very little time to be able to get to this and be able to make choice because my breathing did become very labored. So you just saw a woman who at bare minimum went through a harrowing experience and escaped with her life. We should celebrate, but not everybody is. A Detroit branch of the Democratic Party says it plans to censure Witsit and expel her from the Democratic Party for daring to meet with the president after she got well. They didn't congratulate her for surviving. They punished her for violating party orthodoxy. Representative Witsit joins us tonight, again, along with her physician, Mohammed Arswala. Welcome to you both, Representative. Doctor, Representative, to you first, it's hard to believe yeah. this is true, why would the Democratic Party expel you? Well, thank you for having me on again. I really appreciate it. Well, of course. Why they thank would you expel me is well, why they would expel me is beyond words for me. Um, this is something that I did not expect. I started out with a simple thank you to the man that is the president of the United States. It's a thank you. I didn't know that thank you had a political line. I didn't be, I didn't know thank you belonged to one political party over another and that if you were in one party, you could not say thank you to another person. I had no idea. Do you think the fact that you credited not simply the president, but this medicine, hydroxychloroquine, offended them more? Oh, I think it all correlated all together. Um, I think it was just me as a state representative, that I was out of line, according to possibly our governor, taking myself and going to the White House to speak with the president of the United States. I think it was a kind of how dare you, because the, the, um, con the person who is in charge of the 13th Congressional District actually works for our governor. <laughs> I, we've, we've followed your governor fairly closely recently, and, I'm, and I just want to <laughs> apologize. So let me just ask, did, did the governor call you and say, I'm so glad you didn't die? You're welcome back to the living. Congratulations. <laughs> Actually, it was uh, not as pleasant as that. And the text messages that we have had since then have not been as pleasant as well. Um, I'm not going to stand by and be quiet, nor will I be silenced by anyone when it comes to the people in my community. I don't care who it is. You know, if you're not doing right by us, if you're not doing by, right by black people within our community, I'm going to stand up and I don't care who it is. I'm going to stand up against you. I'm going to speak out. And right now I'm speaking for the people who can't speak for themselves. That is my job. That is my responsibility. That is my duty. That's what I'm sworn to do. And I don't care who it is. I will go up against her any day. So the fact that well, she cannot Gretchen work with the president of the United tonight. States, well, I hope she is too, because, you know, the fact that she cannot work with the president of the United States, you know, Donald Trump, want, the president wants to work with us. He wants to give us the things that we need. And I've had the conversations with him. So I know firsthand, I've had the conversations with um, the vice president Pence as well. So I know firsthand, yeah. I've had the experience. So I know, yeah. I know the shock and awe on their face when they heard that we were not getting the things that we needed and deserved in the city of Detroit. So, only thing I can say it's, is... It's a, I'm sorry, go, go ahead. Just throw my hand, only thing I can do is just throw my hands up. You know, the fact that this would come down from the 13th Congressional yeah. District, Jonathan Kenlock, you know, who runs the 13th Congressional, would actually do this to me is unbelievable. You know, for someone as myself it's, who is simply trying to stand up for the voiceless, it's unbelievable. But I would expect it because it is, it like is I unbelievable. Work for the it, governor. It is he unbelievable. Well, I just want to get your physician in here really quickly. Doctor, do you still credit hydroxychloroquine for helping to save your patient? Representative Witsit. Uh, yes. Tucker, it's good to be on your show again. Um, you know, absolutely. Since uh, uh, I've treated Karen, 
I've also treated uh, a few other patients. As I said, again, there are cardiac toxicity associated with that. But right now, if you look at it, the science is behind this medicine, because right now, if we're in an inpatient setting, as long as you can monitor the heart, the pa people are using it. The outpatient use, even the FDA has recommended that you can use it only based on the physician and patient interaction. That means in my case, whenever I have used it, I have used it on 16 other patients and it has worked because the, we don't have any real medicine to treat the COVID virus infection. Right, right now, there is a huge study going on in Michigan, even on healthy individuals. They are trying to do a study to see if, if you take hydroxychloroquine and can it prevent this disease. So let's not fight politics aside. I think the most important thing is we have exactly. to bring science into our life. We have to bring science. We have to do everything in our toolbox to help each other out. I think the most important thing that we have to do is we have to understand that this virus is new, it's taking lives, it's devastated our economy, and we have to do something to come yeah. together to do the best care possible, Tucker. This is absolutely very important. Doctor, thank absolutely. you. Representative, thank you. You should know that on MSNBC right now, they're effectively scolding you for using this drug. Well, we oh, have a bit of good uh, news tonight.